And not only do I enjoy this, but actually our kids are definitely starting to get a lot more into art. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. and welcome back to the Whistle family household. Today is a slightly spur of the moment video actually. We weren't planning on doing this at all today because I didn't know it was going on, but I caught somebody that I follow on our Instagram um, being at this event today. And as you know, we adore going to artist events and there is yet again another one happening at Market Market today. Um, one of the artists I follow is the one that I caught being there and I really love her work. I do have some of her stickers already. Um, I also saw, I saw, I snuck a few looks in at some of the artists that are actually there today and there was one person that had some really interesting, unique prints. So I had to go, I have to go. Um, it's all the way in Market Market BGC, as I said. We also have a couple of other shops we really wanna go to today, all very art-based. Um, if you didn't know, my birthday was back in December and I actually got a little bit of birthday money from a few people, but I never used it. We've just kept it kind of in the account, not touched it. Um, so I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of shopping. I don't usually shop. We don't usually buy things that we want. We tend to just get stuff we need. We live a quite simple life. Um, but art supplies and being an artist and creating and things like that just really get my blood pumping. They get me really enthusiastic. So we're gonna head out there now and just take a look around and see what it's like, meet some new artists, see some old ones that we know of, and just have a really good time. So we're gonna go get a grab and uh, head over to Market Market. There's something actually really weird happening in our the downstairs of our condominium as well. There's a group called BGYO that some of you may know. We're trying to look them up on uh, YouTube and they seem to be quite popular. Um, it's a P-pop boy group I believe we're really really new to p-pop and k-pop it's not usually music we tend to listen to only because we're like a lot older and the demographic tends to be a lot more younger girls and boys that enjoy them a lot more <laughs> but yeah really strange we've been walking past it all day they've been setting it up um it looks like it's like an intimate kind of mini concert going on uh, we don't know when it's starting there's people queuing everywhere our whole downstairs condominium is full of people so we're just having a look and seeing who they are. Really interesting. We walked past them. We actually saw them uh, this morning and then we, we went past again and they were doing all the lights and setting up the show. So we may see them later. We may get a little clip of that in later, but if you like BGYO, leave a comment down below and let us know who they are because we, we don't know. <laughs> So just a really random P-pop concert going on in our condo today. Um, but we'll have to leave that and head over to BGC. We're just gonna grab our grab now because he's waiting for us around the corner. So from the world of P-pop to the uh, whole different universe of stickers and comics and God knows what else we'll find. A lot of print artists are gonna be there today. It'll be really interesting very very busy in market market i don't tend to enjoy going on a saturday just because we know how busy it can be and um, but it's a really cool atmospheric place to go um, we don't come here as often as we used to but when these conventions are on slash like some of the music events they have on it's always a really fun place to be a few of the dresses from a lot of the festivals that have happened over the last couple of years specifically the Sinalog Festival and the Ati Atikan Festival uh, which have just literally gone past uh, I know the Sinalogs in Cebu um, but they have like all the really interesting dresses and like parade pieces from the sets and parades of those festivals so it's really cool we're just gonna look at these because there's a lot of people over there trying to get their hands on some amazing artwork we will We'll get in there, it's gonna be messy. Uh, but we're gonna have a look around because it's pretty cool. Viva Pizzenor. This one's got kind of like an earthy theme, like a mountain theme. It's really, really interesting. I bet that was really difficult to wear. I don't know what's going on over there. Um, they're announcing something, but um, these dresses are so detailed and so bright and they if they get bigger look they're getting even bigger that is so stunning it's amazing so 
this is like the ultimate, hugest, biggest, most decadent dress I think I've ever seen. You can see all the details, all in the shawl that she's wearing and the crown. Uh, it is so cool. We really hope to get to some festivals. Hopefully, if we're still here by next year, that would be very cool. And now we've got to battle through the sticker event. This is Comiket BGC, uh, the Filipino comics art market. Um, and there are a lot of people here, which is very exciting. Because sometimes when we go to these sorts of things, there's not as many people as I'd like, but there's some very interesting artworks. I can't wait to show you. <laughs> This is so crazy. We're just trying to get around all the lanes, but um, we're squished. There's too many people to look at on both sides. It's really difficult to try and get around to everybody, but we're giving it a good old go. So this artist we've actually seen before, Candy Acne. She's amazing. She's got just a little store today, but there are so many people here. Um, but we've got some of her retro stickers, which are awesome. <laughs> so we've got our first purchase, 250 pesos for a couple of amazing prints, I can't wait to show you. Um, she's a really, really amazing artist. Uh, somebody I had my eye on when uh, before we came out when I checked out the event. Um, but now we're just kind of trying to chug through and have a look at other people. the sugar glider just randomly hanging out here didn't expect to see that or hold one but I can check that off my bucket list it was pretty cool it was very sweet so Kev just said that was pretty crazy and I must agree with him that was mental I've never been in such a kind of smushed up scenario but it was really fun we definitely got quite a lot of goodies I can't wait to share with you later some new artists we've not seen before and a few old ones that we have. Um, but we're heading over to a few of the art shops actually now because they have some really great ones here in BGC. How, how did you enjoy that event? That was manic. But there's it, some, some really cool art. It was quite so. cool. And we got to see a sugar glider. Yes, it's not often. In the Philippines, un it expects the unexpected. I think that is the term to yeah. use. Yeah, do you want to tell them about the shoes? Yeah, earlier when, or on the previous video, we didn't record this, but we were walking back from Salcedo Market and this guy had basically shoes covered with to stuffed toys. Yeah, cuddly toys. Cuddly <laughs> toys. What? Why? It was a fashion How? statement. I, I liked them. I would wear them. It was weird. So the term I want to use from now on is expect the unexpected in the Philippines. Yeah, madness. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the best shops for art is obviously Art Bar, but there is one more that might surprise you that has a really fantastic art section. Um, as I said, I'm really into all of this. It's so cool. Uh, spending a day doing things that I'm super passionate about is a very big luxury for me because usually mamas 
don't get this kind of attention and I don't usually spend much money on myself um, but we're just looking around seeing if there's any art supplies that I could uh, hunt for for today. Is it? So this art bar in BGC actually has two levels. Uh, the one that we go to in Rockwell is only in one level. So this is quite a bit bigger, but I've never been to the upstairs section, which is quite cool. Lots of books, it looks like. What have you seen? Oh, wow, look at all that paint. And not only do I enjoy this, but actually our kids are definitely starting to get a lot more into art. Harry's been practicing drawing a lot of manga characters. Elowen has already confessed how much she wants just art supplies for her birthday. So we have a little family of artists here um, and I can't wait to see how they use that in their normal lives when they're older. Um, we definitely push it at home education and we just make sure that they're always creative because that's really important to me. But when they come to the art store, they're just as excited as me, yeah which is awesome. So Art Bar was a slight success. I got a couple of paintbrushes, uh, very, very small ones for some detail work. Uh, I can't wait to show you some of the ideas we have got for as to why I'm getting all these art supplies, uh, but that will come in due time. So Fully Booked is also a really great option for art supplies. Uh, the Fully Booked in BGC is my personal favourite one because the art supplies are so extensive. There's also a massive kids section and they can sit on the floor and read books. It's just a, the loveliest of all the ones we've been to. Um, so we're just checking out the kids books because my kids love to read and they love books. And then we're going to head up and look at some more art supplies and then maybe catch something to eat. Kev's got his eye on some food. I wasn't going to, but I think I might have to give in to him. Um, but we have a cool place in line after this. So we're just at Play Street in BGC. It's actually the first time we've been here because it's only open on weekends and we actually tend to avoid BGC on the weekends. But it looks like a lot of it's like sponsored or been bought in by McDonald's because like literally all of it has McDonald's branding on it. Um, but it's really cool. There's like a, a kind of luau where you go under it. There's lots of crosses, there's Jenga, there's hula hoops. I think you can pay, <laughs> sorry. I think you can pay for the go-kart experience, but we're going to give that a miss. And also I noticed that there's seesaws right behind me, right at the back of that field. And actually they light up in the dark. They're supposed to be charged by the sun. They're like solar panel seesaws. So they do light up in the dark, but I don't know, I don't know if we're gonna stay there that long uh, to look at it, but it seems very, very busy. They're quite popular, but there's loads of different options here in this little park. And there's also the new kind of second high street that we're in. And there's a very, very brand new uh, cafe called Oro Chocolate Bar, which is literally um, chocolate from, I think, Davao. And literally everything on the menu has this chocolate in it, which is very, very cool. It's very trendy in there. Uh, so we're hoping to get in. We've left our name and number there, but um, we'll see. Hopefully we can, but the kids are just playing for a little bit. Cause actually, luckily it's right outside the cafe. So we're just gonna chill here for a little while. As I said, we're kind of on the second high street. There's actually a lot of new places that just recently opened. There's a bigger Randy's, which we actually went with Mama Yana off camera. <laughs> and she showed us this whole area and we actually ran into this chocolate shop. Um, it wasn't open at the time, but it's now on its soft opening. So there's a lot of stuff still missing. There's a lot of stuff we couldn't get a hold of today. Gonna have to come back because there was a few pastries that we really want to have a try of. Um, but it's really cute. It's very aesthetically pleasing. We're actually outside because it's very busy in there But there's like really cool like bamboo seats like the cutlery is like bamboo shaped very cool um, so we've got a few things. I've got like a soft serve milkshake like a chocolate one We've got a couple of hot chocolates and some chocolate pastries and uh, a savory dish but a lot of the savory dishes actually have chocolate in them as well like uh, chocolate balsamic vinegar chocolate nibs very very cool um, it's a very chocolatey themed cafe and as I mentioned earlier all of the chocolate does come from Davao um, so it's all very local all very supporting other businesses very cool um, so we're gonna hopefully enjoy this that's okay, <laughs> that's okay. Um, 
because chocolate out here melts so quickly, it's very difficult to find really good chocolate. So I'm very excited. They also have a little shop in here as well. So if you do want to pick up some chocolate, they do have that too. So we're going to hopefully try some things and show you. So this was the selection of dips we got. I think there's one eggplant one and a red pepper one and just some ciabatta. We only wanted something really small and simple because we do have some pastries coming out as well. Um, but hopefully this will be nice. This is one of the only things we could get because it was, as I said, uh, a lot of things had sold out already, but it does look tasty. Mm. That's really tasty. Ooh. So this is one of the first drinks we've got. It's actually taken a little while to get our drinks and unfortunately there's been a few hiccups, but it is a soft opening, so it is to be expected. But this is the white chocolate salted caramel hot yeah. chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. So on top it looks like they've grated white chocolate yeah but because when you warm up white chocolate being a chef you've got to be careful with the heat because it separates and the oils separate from the milkiness on it and you can see that at the top it's starting to do that but i'm gonna stir it Definitely white chocolate. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. Is it good? Mm. So we've got a, the dark chocolate, which is the classic version. And it's got some little shavings on the top. Unlike Kev, I don't mix mine. I like to kind of get a bit of at each layer as you drink. But the good thing about these hot chocolates is actually they're not horribly hot where they sting and burn your mouth. And actually that's really good, especially with the white chocolate, because as Kev said, Heating white chocolate up too hot makes it separate and goes oily. So they're taking a lot of care in the temperature of their hot chocolate, which is really good. So whilst it's hot, it doesn't burn your mouth and you really get the best flavor coming out of it. It's not as sweet as the white one, but it's very, very rich in a really good way. Oh, that is dark. Yeah, it's very rich, but not as sweet. Yeah, very rich and very dark. I know it, I'm gonna do that. Me too. Is it good? Yeah, nice. It's actually nicer than that one. Oh, you prefer this one? This is the soft serve shake. And it comes with, um, so I guess they're cutting down on plastic straws. So this one is the pasta straw. So it is pasta. Is it? Yeah, that's pasta. And you drink oh. It. So, um, I didn't know. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Do you? It's nice. <laughs> How do you know it's pasta? It is. Oh, no. Yeah, it's exactly the same sort of flavour as the dark chocolate one that's hot. Very creamy and very... Um, I would have thought it would be a little bit more thicker, but... It's still good though. Still good. I like it. I think the white chocolate salt caramel one is the best. It's very sweet and you do get a lot of muscovado brown sugar taste from it as well. Very, very tasty. So we also got the ooey gooey chocolatey caramel lee tub cake. Good enough for that. <laughs> it is a bit, but they do look really good. So it's got loads of chocolate shavings on top. It's got sponge, mousse, caramel, all of your favorite things. Dinner. Wow. That is a big spoon. Like on the camera, that looks huge. And then I've just realized you've just done a massive. That's the only bite you're getting now. Mm -hmm. We've just got two more things coming out. We've got the little peanut butter bar and Kev's just got one other coming out. We've all been sharing as well today. But um, yeah, this is almost like a little caramel shortbread. I'm just gonna slice it quickly just to show you what it looks like inside. Kev hates peanut butter. Um, so I'm allowed to have this all to myself, which is great. 
So I think this is like a peanut butter caramel, shortbread, and then a chocolate casing. Looks very delicious. And then this is the chocolate cherry financier. Yeah. Which is like a really dense um, cake. cake, yeah. Looks tasty. <laughs> It's a nice cake. Yeah. I wish there was more more cherries on that. Uh, it's tasty. Very delicious, very tasty. I would definitely recommend. It's supporting local um, chocolate makers here. It's a tree to bar or bean to bar company as well from Davao so definitely check it out we're just watching the kids and they're building all sorts of structures with their blocks um, there's loads of activities down here like I said there's like hula hoops there's like a luau uh, what is it called when you go under the thing oh. uh, Harry just said it and I completely forgot limbo. limbo limbo or a lot of the kids are actually like jumping over it there's noughts and crosses and all sorts of bits and then the light up seesaws are over there but we're just chilling here whilst they uh, play and then we're gonna get back and if you want to see what I got from the market market and uh, showcase and support some local artists then wait right to the end because I'll be doing that then so this is actually me from the future I did film this segment but found that unfortunately because it was actually in the dark by the time we got back home um, you couldn't really see a lot of the details of the artwork I really wanted to showcase so I'm refilming it um, I'm just going to quickly go through what I got from the art stores. Um, I went to two, I went to Art Bar and picked up a couple of um, paintbrushes, just some really fine detailed ones. These were around 40 pesos each, so a complete and utter steal. Uh, and then from um, Fully Booked, I got a bit of a treat. This was quite expensive in terms of art supplies. I mean, it depends. It depends. It's not as expensive as a lot of art supplies I've seen before, but it is for me. I tend to buy the more cheaper options. Um, but I've really wanted these for a long time. And this is the Sakura uh, poster color collection. Um, it has 12 colors in it. And these are poster paints, not to be confused with kids poster paints. They're proper um like water activated paint somewhere in between a gouache and a watercolor and after i found out that studio ghibli used poster colors to create a lot of their work in their animation i've been wanting to get some for a long time and being in asia they are a lot easier to get my hands on um in england they're really difficult you have to go through amazon and the prices on there are ridiculous so they were really good around 1400 pesos for that set which is about 25 english pounds again not really expensive compared to like oil paints and some um, big high brands, but kind of up there. So from the art fair itself, I got quite a selection, not as much as I thought I had, but I, I would definitely go back and pick up so many more artists work. There was too much to choose from, unfortunately, but I did get quite a good selection. The first person was the person that actually convinced me to go to this art fair. Her work was showcased on the Instagram account of Market Market and I had to go because of it. Um, and if you know us and if you know what we love, we love Ghibli. So this is the first print and her name is Haran Nikala. Everybody's name will be on the screen apart from one who's unfortunately I didn't get the name of um, and I can't find any of the footage with his name in it, which is a right shame. Um, but I'm going to be looking a little bit to the left just so I can make sure these are all in view. But this one is a Ponyo print, which is so beautiful. Her style and the way she uses texture and colour is phenomenal. And then I also got a Spirited Away print um, of the bathhouse with some of the kind of paper birds that attack um, Haru are in the background. So that's really cool. They were amazing. She was so cool. She had such a cool selection of prints. It was very difficult to choose just two. I then also found another print, and this is the artist, unfortunately, I don't know the name of, but he had multiple prints like these, a very different, very like urbanized city life, um, kind of the more grimy, realistic living conditions of the Philippines that we see and have known to really get used to. And I really love this. If we were to go home to England um, and I had this, this would really remind me more than any photo or video footage of the Philippines. It really captures the essence of living in it within the city. So these are really cool. He did multiple different ones and he also did a lot of Filipino food prints. The person next to him had a really cool style. So I picked up a couple of stickers from him as well. And his name is 
JC Delic. Again, I'll put everybody's name down below. Um, and I just got a couple of stickers from him. He used quite interesting colors, very tonal palettes. He used very complementary colors. Orange and blue are a fantastic combination. If you know your colors and color theory, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But he did very interesting works, very much based on isolation. And I really liked that. He had a woman on a train standing around people that just weren't taking any interest uh, in looking or seeing the world and I really enjoy that kind of theme. I thought that was an interesting subject to delve more deeply into. I've always been interested in like mental health and kind of taking that approach into your artwork. And then the last person I picked up from was a guy called Howler um, and his stickers were phenomenal. Like they were really good. He had a big old crowd around him and it was a while before I was able to get to the table. But first and foremost, one of my favorite films in animation is Ghost in the Shell. It's one of the first films I really um, watched that was very outside of the normal animation I was used to. This specific character, I believe, is actually from the Ghost in the Shell uh, live action film, which isn't as good. You have to watch the animation. Number one and number two are awesome. But any Ghost in the Shell merchandise, I am gonna be picking up because it's not very often you see it, um, but it is a really great animation. I would definitely recommend if you are into that kind of thing there was also a lot of food based ones so a lot of ones that kind of mixed food and um graphic design and illustration so they had like a few i've got a couple here but this one was really interesting it was a girl in a spam can bath very pretty very cool and um, i also got this uh, strawberry milk carton which has as you can see if you recognize them characters from spirited away again one of the best ghibli films ever made um not my favorite because I, do, I don't think I could pick one, but very cool. And then he let me choose a free sticker and I just got this one. It was the first one I picked and I didn't realize it said vaccinated and boosted, but that helps in life at the moment. Um, and I just thought the graphics were really cool. The colors were really interesting. So that is what I picked up from the art fair. Hopefully that was quick enough to whiz through for you guys, but also showcase them enough. Um, I'm so excited to see so many more people and collect so many more pieces of artwork. I've got like a little pack of prints that I've collected. I've got a whole envelope of stickers that I'm now collecting and all of them are always put to great use. Um, so we can't wait to see more people and hopefully go to many more art fairs. They are so interesting here. Everything is so culturally interesting and I love it, you know I love it. So I'm gonna stop waffling now and um, close the video off. So I really hope you enjoyed this really long and interesting vlog. We did so many things all in one day. Um, the highlight, of course, for the whole vlog was getting to meet Peanut and also the chocolate bar, pretty awesome. If you're interested in that, I would definitely recommend, very tasty, and we will be going back for some delicious hot chocolate. But yes, thank you so much for watching today's video. We really hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Salam Bye. Bye. <laughs>